we've been trained to think that if we get that one thing, money, the perfect relationship, recognition, whatever, then we will finally be happy. But the more we chase after it, the emptier it feels. We scroll, we compare, we keep adding more stuff, more distractions. But for what? I mean, look around. Smartphones, cars, smiling people, perhaps a safer environment. You can stay home and order your meal and have it served at your door. Everything at our fingertips. Yet, we are lost. It's like the more we have, the more we are drowning in it all. very hot summer the team and i decided to explore so we started driving up north of europe first we decided and agreed to do some items at grocery shopping be part of the festival yes and this one as a guy goes i'm not identifying as a guy right now <laughs> I'm not as all right he wants this one i actually so. want this i want him hair to tie like this for me <laughs> I'm a I'm a princess. Yep, I'm a princess. So after getting our crowns, we kept driving like four hours up north from the city of Riga. Then we finally arrived at a destination. We saw so many camps, so we decided to go and check it out. When we got there, it was really summer. Everybody was naked, swimming, drinking, laughing like yeah this is summer then the team and i decided to set up our tent it was really a struggle because for me it was the first time setting up a tent but finally we made it our tent is fixed as you can see Whew. <laughs> <laughs> As you can see, where the Asian church is, yeah. Oh boy! <laughs> Even though it is summer, we were warned that during the night it could still get cold. So yeah, we had this. Everybody's tent was set and ready. So was our tent. It's almost 9 p.m., but we still had to make our dinner. <sighs> then night fell. It's time to have some real fun. Let's come to Latvia. It's amazing. Latvia! Representing Latvia. So we are really cool and we're friendly and we like to party. And I know you too. Hey, and I know hey, you hey, hey, like too. Hey, hey. You see that? <laughs> It's quite surprising how we came from nowhere and now we are here somewhere up north of Europe about to probably have one of the best nights of our life. There was a series of events and programs but there was one particular event that stood out when I heard about it and that was the Naked Race. And yeah, this summer was all about diving headfirst into the unknown, chasing every thrill, 
an embracing moment too unforgettable to ever regret. The night ended like a fading ember, lingering in the air as if time itself had passed to savor the moment. The next morning unfolded like a scene from a quiet film. While people gathered by the water's edge, every face, young and old, rich or poor, carried its own untold story, its own quiet struggle. It didn't matter who you were, we all had our battles, our personal storms, and somehow that made everything okay, knowing we were in this together. I needed this, this summer, not only about exploring, I get to learn a lot about myself and other people, other new places, people far away from me, people from a different culture, background, different perspective. But you know one thing? We had one thing in common. Everybody thinks they have a problem which is bigger than somebody and or anybody's problem but after speaking to each and one another we realize that it is actually okay not to be okay i've been there you know i've tried to push away the fear the doubt the pain, thinking if I just focus on the positive, the good stuff, it will all go away. But it doesn't. It lingers. And every time I feel like I'm failing. Failing at this idea of happiness, they shove down our throats. It's exhausting chasing this mirage. I start to think, what if the struggle is the point? What if it's okay not to be okay, accepting that things are hard and I don't have it all figured out? Maybe that's where peace comes from. It's not about pushing the pain away. It's about letting it be. Letting myself be. Yeah, maybe that's enough. <laughs>